seem to capture better than pictures so this little hall effect cute look here um, basically what I did was this little magnet I just drilled it's only probably sixty thousandths thick and the pulley was plenty thick so all I had to do was drill a half inch hole because that's about the OD of it and then uh, glued it in there let it set up and then went around the perimeter and peened it and then the peen basically moving that material in just allowed that to kind of sit in there and it won't go anywhere and then uh, turn the power on and then if you were to see the little registers so it seems to be fairly accurate I'm just doing it by hand that was kind of nice to get that done get the tack done I've also got another little display I hope to uh, implement I'm gonna do a, I don't know somewhere up here I like to do it down here along with the spindle if I had to do it over again all this would be moved up and then I'd have the RPM and then I've got a, a voltage and a, a amperage meter coming with a, uh, uh, a shunt because I don't think that that's probably going to pull that many amps on the motor back there. But if you said 50 amps or more, you probably should have a shunt. So, but I don't really like it. It'll end up being up here. But to be able to add that and being able to monitor the spindle will be kind of nice. So, as you can see, I have the you know she's back there. It's just going to be so cool to be able to dial in your spindle RPM and then have it register up here. <clears throat> I could probably go into Mach 3 and have it, uh, the software control it, start and stop it and whatnot. Um, but I just, I, I prefer, a, if I can handle, I mean, if it's, if I'm doing the build, I, I, I would prefer the the manual spindle control. So, just kind of wanted to show the tack setup and how I did it. And every, there's a lot of people doing that sort of thing for several years, but I'm just now getting around to it. So I think it's cool. Thanks.